Just leave it here. Just, yeah, just sit down. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're ready to go. We've done it, we've done our walk around. Alright, so we're going to walk around. We're not going to do it. You two walk your way over here. You're making sure the coach is going to be facing you. And you hit the line. Just one thing, you never do my show. And when you get up there, you can't sit there. Alright, we're going to get up there. Shade. Wherever it is, I'm gonna be in the shade. Can't blame you there. Uh, this morning we started uh, with the Allen Boomtown days. We've been doing this since about 2016, I believe, either my group or another group that I'm associated with, and uh, we have a blast with it. We put the boom back in the Boomtown days. We did uh, three shows today. The first show we did told about the differences between, showed the difference between the, the miners and the ranchers here in the area. Uh, Dunellen was a phosphate mining boom town in the late 1800s, early 1900s. Uh, just like the gold and silver towns out west, they had phosphate here and it was big. It was just as wild, just as woolly as what you see on TV. Our second show took the wild and woolly uh, miners versus ranchers and kind of combined them through a wedding. We had a ranch family, married into a mine family, and kind of helped bring the community together. Did that really happen? I have no idea, but we enjoyed doing it that way and showing it that way. And then we finished it up to show what happens after these two battling factions come together for the community. Uh, it was a, a time of uh, ore sales, so you had an S, uh, excuse me, a land agent in there from the Consolidated Land and Immigration Office to buy, to buy ore, and you had a livestock agent in to buy cattle. So yeah, time. Two strong point. boxes full of gold to spend and uh, a bunch of hungry outlaws wanting that money. So we ended up with the outlaws trying to steal it, the townsfolk stopping them and the lawmen shooting them down. Uh, just a good old western shootout here in Dunnell Fort. Did they have that here? I don't know. We did. And we had fun doing it. So we kind of push the truth a little bit on that. But we try to be somewhat factual in what we do, but we try to have a good time. So hopefully, if you were here and saw it, you enjoyed it. If you didn't, if you weren't here and see it, we'll be back next year. Don't know the date yet, but we'll be back. When I turn my head like this, y'all don't hear. So I'm going to put this thing in my mouth. Where's that woman up there who's complaining? Am I here? Are you here? Tell her, you better listen to me, woman. Okay. Right? Nothing out of that one? Oh, we have blood somewhere? What? Let me check my plug. I got nothing coming out of yours. Put it down, man. Something. You said we were unplugged. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Anything out of it now, Chef? Uh, yeah. Shit them, Duke? Duke yeah. Jones?
started coming with Shadow Riders, then the Captain Kids, and then uh, I think back to Shadow Riders again. So we'll continue doing the shows if you guys continue wanting us. Um, first show we did today kind of showed you the difference between the, the mine owners and the ranchers, a little bit of history. Next show we kind of stopped that nonsense and we kind of married a mine person to a ranch person and we kind of combined them and made the community flow kind of nice to what it was. And now we're going to see what happens when something it comes against the two of them together. Our story is going to start out with a couple of people coming in town. There's a, a big land buy coming up. I can't do it. Okay, is that better? A good land buy coming up and a cattle buy coming up. So there's going to be a lot of money coming into town. That made a difference. I don't know what it is. I guess it's here. Anyway. A lot of money coming into town. So what we're fixed to see is a land agent. Hello, land agent. A land agent. That, that's a city. Land agent. The land agent just arrived. He's headed towards the marshal's office to see if they can uh, recruit some help. He's going in a strong box full of money to buy a bunch of land. Uh, excuse me, to buy a bunch of ore. He's not a land agent. He's buying that ore from the mines. This was fossil. Buying ore. I'll get that one. So he's trying to get the marshal to help him get that stuff in here safely. They're going to take it over to the assay office and uh, secure it and see what happens next. Just uh, give me support, please. Is that the one you want? Okay. Yeah, it's on positive. Well, that one must not have much air. It's paper money because they look like they're wearing too much. But they're going to take it over to secure it in the assayer's office. Well, unfortunately, the same time as they're doing this ore buy, they're doing a cattle buy. So we have a cattle over to the bank, which is over by the assayer's office. Hold on! 
Okay. Whip cream. Uh, hi, folks. I'm Cliff. I'm yeah. with the Shadow Riders. I go by the name Shadow. The outlaws that follow me are called the Shadow Riders. We do entertainment and education of the Old West. Uh, something unique happened to us a few weeks ago. A couple of us were called and asked to go down and help with the filming of a movie. In South Florida, they're filming a movie called Florida Wild. It's supposed to be somewhat related to the book A Land Remembered. Uh, I thought, well, what are they going to do with a couple of 25 cent cowboys that gets a six million dollar man in a movie? People said, well, who's the six million dollar man? I said, Lee Majors. He's the star of the movie. Lee Majors, Bailey Chase, Mina Sorvino, and uh, Nancy Stafford are the main stars of Big Other Cast. But they use some uh, imported cowboys from California and they use a lot of real cowboys from the Pentecost Ranch in, in Florida. That's where it was filmed. Uh, the movie is a family geared movie to tell the true history of Florida cattle history. We were the first cattlemen in, the, in America and uh, that's what this movie will portray. Uh, Florida Wild will come out sometime in 2025. I believe Pure Flix is where it's going to be available. It's not going to be on the big screen. It's on for cable, but I believe it's pure flicks, and the hope is they will be doing a series, TV series, based upon the story after the movie comes out. <laughs> 